someone says that BYOD is happening simply because it cannot be stopped, and uh, I'm not sure I would agree with that, but there's some truth in this. And the point is that from an IT corporate perspective, BYOD really brings in new costs. But we have not, we need to keep in mind, let's not forget that the corporate as a whole benefits from it. And the benefit is definitely due to increased worker productivity. There are some intangible benefits, morale, retention, and so forth. But the number one, based on uh, the financials that we analyzed um, throughout this research, is the increased productivity. And if you think about that, if you check email, or if you become productive 30 minutes before you get into the office, because probably you are working with your tablet from the train or while you are commuting, or you just work from home before you actually get to the office, and then you add 30 other minutes at the end of the day in the same way, you are at all the effect adding one hour of work out of the eight that you are expected to work. That's a huge increase. That's a 10, 12, 20 percent increase in worker productivity. Now, the point is that not all companies will get the same kind of uh, uh, benefit compared to the costs. While the costs are there for sure, the benefit is more relevant in companies that belong to industry verticals that have more white collar workers. These are the workers that typically benefit the most in terms of productivity from access to this technology. If the company is in a manufacturing space and probably has many workers on the assembly line, they are not probably likely to benefit from increased access to email from home.